Hey everybody, welcome back to Lake House Life. I'm Ken, and on this channel, we talk about everything Lake House. So if you're into that, stick around. We got a lot to talk about. Today, we're talking about water treatment. If you don't get your water from the city supply, then you must process the water yourself being on a private well. How do we process that water? Well, we need to take the sediment and the contaminants and any herbicides and pesticides out of the water. Then we can formulate and build a system to take those things out of the water to make it safe for our family to drink and for our appliances. The first thing to know is what's in my well water? You gotta get you a test kit. I grabbed this off of Amazon, it was like $25. It's for well water. You can also get them for city water if you wanna see what's in your city water. Um, but we're gonna use this one and see what's in our water so we know how to treat it. So let's look and see what's inside this test kit. Got a bunch of instructions. Tells you what all the different tests are. Instruction booklet. Tells you your parts per million, where you should be at, how to test the water and what the results mean, how to interpret them. Uh, comes with a card here showing you which tests that it checks for. This kit tests for coliform bacteria, pesticides, nitrates, lead, iron, nitrites, hardness, pH, chlorine, and copper. Uh, so I don't really need to worry about chlorine too much, but we do need to worry about herbicides and pesticides because there's a lot of farms in the area and there's a lot of runoff from that. Here's the test for pesticides and lead. Here's the test for copper. Here's the test for total hardness. This is the nitrite test. We have a little vial with some powder in it. So we'll see what that's all about. So here's a quick shot of the water as it looks straight out of the well. The bottle's a little frosty. It's fairly clean. Maybe it's got a little bit of a tinge to it, hard to say first test we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up this vial right here with the powder in it uh, about three-quarters of the way full and this tests for bacteria in the water so how are we gonna know if there's bacteria in the water well if the water turns purple uh, there's no bacteria if it turns yellow uh, there's significant bacteria uh, the only thing about this test is uh, I gotta wait 48 hours to read the result so we're gonna fill it up shake it up set it aside and we're going to come back to it in a couple of days. All right, there it is. Looks a little cloudy. It's actually starting to turn purple already. That's a good sign, but we got to wait two days uh, to see. But uh, that's, uh, that's looking pretty good if you ask me so far. So the next test we're gonna do is the copper test. All we're gonna do here is open this up. If you ever tested a pool, it's the same thing. This little dot on there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick this in the water for 30 seconds and then we're gonna have to wait two minutes. Been 30 seconds, so we're gonna take it out, we're gonna shake it off. It's been about two minutes, so we're gonna read the results on this copper test. All we're gonna do is match it up to the picture and the instruction book. And it looks pretty light, so I'm gonna say it's the lightest one. So there is zero total copper in this, according to this test. The next test, which is the nitrates and nitrite test. You can see it's a double pad on this test strip. Uh, again, we're just gonna dip it in and then we're gonna match it up to the chart, but this one is gonna go quicker. Uh, I believe this one uh, needs only a minute before it's gotta stand. We have zero nitrates and zero nitrites. Pad closest to the end is the top chart and the pad on your right is the bottom chart. pH, hardness, and chlorine. Uh, this is gonna tell us whether we need a water softener or not. Uh, I don't expect to see any chlorine, uh, and it'll be nice to know what the pH of this water is coming straight out of the ground. So this is another quick test. Uh, looks like we're above 7.4, heading towards 10. 
Uh, so we're gonna have to definitely that's because of the total hardness in the water as you could see is between 120 and 250 somewhere in there so we're definitely going to need a water softener to take all that out and the chlorine as we expected is zero we're on to the lead and pesticide tests uh, they give us this little dropper we're going to need to get two dropper fulls of water supposed to swirl it around there's nothing in here but you know, they say swirl it so we got to put the test strips in arrows pointing down these test strips got to sit for about 10 minutes so let's set a timer all right guys we're coming up on 10 minutes here all right we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna look for the blue line the blue line is closer to the number one than it is to the number two, then we're negative. So we are negative for the two most maximum contaminants in farmland, which is atrazine and simazine. All right, guys, we got those well water tests done and the water looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we knew the water was a little bit hard, so we're gonna need a water softener. Most people do down there, it's not a big deal. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build a uh, water treatment plan for the new house which is going to consist of a sediment filter a pre-filter and the water softener of course and uh, we may do a reverse osmosis just for drinking water under the sink but i'm not sure about that but now we got a really good idea on what we need to make this water safe and healthy down there and if you want one of these kits you can go to amazon and grab one up yourself they're really easy to do uh, they don't take very long except for the bacteria test. Yeah, and you can know exactly what's in your water and how to treat it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging with me this time. We will see you next time on Lake House Life.